Hi everyone, welcome back. Uh, so today's video, I'm going to talk to you a little bit about online learning and give you an idea of like, what I did to prepare to be an online learner and teacher, uh, how it's going for me, and also some of the things that I wanna improve as the semester goes on, things that aren't working for me yet, and I kinda need to figure out how to improve for me. Um, once I found out the university was going to go, my university was going to go completely online for all coursework um, that I teach and that I take right now, I kind of had to reframe my mind and how I thought about approaching university classes because I've only taken a couple of online classes and I really do prefer in the in-person experience. So this was kind of like weird and I had to really think about it. Um, wanting to be successful, I wanted to prepare for that. So the first thing that I really did to get prepared is I set up an office space that was kind of separate. Um, in our house, we don't have an extra room that I could use specifically for an office. So instead, our my bedroom's large enough that I was able to set aside a dedicated like corner space for an office space. If you've watched my other vlogs, you've seen me in this office space quite a bit. I'm in it right now. Um, what I like about it is that even though it's in my bedroom, it's far enough away from my bed that uh, my sleep space feels separated from my workspace, which is really important because in the past, I've like had my desk next to my bed and that just gets difficult. But I like that it's separated because I try really hard not to work in my bed and keep my bed for like relaxing and sleep. Of course, I do sometimes work in my bed, um, but if I need a change of scenery and I'm actively thinking about it, I will often go to my couch or my dining room table instead and work from there because that happens. Uh, but so far, m having my office space has been really nice. The other uh, really nice thing about having this designated space has been able been me being able to organize it. I've been able to set it up in a way that works for me. I've uh, moved things around a couple times already, but right now this means that when I'm in class or teaching in class and I need something like a new pen, a new marker, a notebook, I can just reach for it and grab it really quick. And normally I don't even have to leave like the camera view for Zoom. So that's really nice to have that set up. And I'm planning on showing you that setup in this video um, so you can kind of see it. The other thing that having a separate space has really helped is it's helped separate my time. So when I'm in my office space, it's work time or time to work on something. And when I'm not, then it's like relaxing time or family time. And this really helps because working from home, the lines can get kind of blurred. Your work time can kind of bleed into when I would like to have family time or be relaxing, especially with the portability of a laptop or even sometimes the phones. So having that space that is like where I work from has really helped me distinguish my time and really kind of focus on one thing at a time. The last thing I want to talk about with preparing in terms of my office space is that I have been really fortunate to be able to set up a dual screen. Um, and I'm going to show you here to my dual screen setup. And so what happened for me is we have a TV in the bedroom and this TV has become my second monitor because I can hook up an HDMI cord to my computer. So instead of needing to purchase an extra screen or an extra computer, I'm just using my TV, which is great because it's a nice big screen. I can work from it really easily and it works just like another computer mon computer monitor. Uh, I also save some money because I didn't have to buy anything new. So consider this, if you have a TV, an extra TV somewhere um, or one in your office space already, consider using it for a second screen. All right, so I just wanted to show you all. This is what my office space looks like. And it's pretty nice because I do have like a pretty good corner. Uh, I don't feel like super cramped. 
and I have my desk on the right side and my dual monitor set up you can see there and then on my left side or behind me when I'm sitting at my desk is all my shelves with all my organizational stuff on the top shelf is just like things I love some motivation and some things that kind of like make me happy and then I have a shelf here. This is things I might need within reach. I love my dry erase markers. That's how I do a lot of my active recall exercises and then just some other things that I might need. All of my current books that I'm reading. Some more things that I love and make me happy. And then this little caddy has been really nice because I have more dry erase markers. Uh, whiteout, pens, markers, anything I might need to have within reach. Snacks, because who does not need snacks? <laughs> More books. And then the bottom gets kind of messy. I haven't really organized it yet, but here we have just some old materials. Some of my arts and crafts. And then these are like activities that I like to do in my spare time. Kind of get my, give my brain a break logic puzzles I really enjoy and then if I turn around in my desk I have like any office things that I might need this drawer is where anything that I don't want on my desk gets put um, basically anything to keep my desk clear okay and so of part of online learning and being home doing all of this I knew going into it that I wanted different ways to stay motivated. Uh, it's really easy to get unmotivated, staying in one spot, not having the interpersonal interactions. Um, I particularly struggled in online courses in the past with motivation because I would forget about things or time would just get away from me doing something else. Other priorities seemed more at the forefront because they're in front of you so i knew that going in that that was gonna be something that i struggled with and so in order to combat that i found some techniques that really helped for me the first one is that i make sure to take breaks throughout my day if i was going to class there would already be natural breaks in my day time flows even if it's something as simple as shifting from one class to another a break for lunch moving between buildings even things like that would be a natural break from like when you're doing these online zoom courses i found that you can literally be sitting in the same spot just jumping from zoom meeting to zoom meeting because you don't have to travel but then that means that your day isn't broken up at all so i've been being really intentional about adding breaks into my day and i use um an hourly like block format for my planning and in there I try really hard to include breaks for my day. Uh, the other really important part is taking time to move my body whether that's a stretch break, doing uh, exercise, going for short walks. This is an area that like I'm really good about getting up and stretching or going for a short walk but I would really like to become more intentional about getting regular exercise because that regular exercise, anytime that I get it, I feel so much better, less tired, more motivated, but it's really difficult sometimes to stick to a schedule of exercise when you have other things going on. So that's something that I wanna be more intentional about. As I mentioned, there are still some areas that I'm struggling. I'm gonna be honest, I still am not 100% loving this online learning. I completely understand why it's necessary and why for health and safety, it's the best that we can do right now. Um, for me personally, it's just an area where I'm struggling and I'm looking forward to when it's safe to get back in classrooms. So things that I would like to do better for me, uh, the main one is staying on one task at a time. Because 
I have everything that I need to do in this one space, which works out great most of the time. It also means that there's a lot of distractions. And what I mean by that is there's a lot of, like I can see in my vision, my to-do list that might be sitting on my desk or my to-do list that I have on the wall. And I can see this at all times, even when I'm working on a different task. Um, or my email will be up on my computer and I get a notification for that and that distracts me from my task and then I move on to another one. So that's an area where I'm still trying to figure out how I can get better at sticking to one task at a time. If you all have any tips and tricks for how you do that, I would love to hear them because I need some help. The other t thing that I struggle with is predicting the amount of time a task will take. Um, and I wasn't, I was surprised that I was struggling with this because in the past when I was in on our in-person classes, I still had to like plan my time when it comes to homework and other things. And I used to be fairly good at planning the correct amount of time, but I'm just not right now. I find myself planning a lot of time for tasks that don't take as long or like a tiny little chunk of time and then I don't get the task done. I'm like, I'm obviously not predicting correctly. I think some of this has to do with not working on one task at a time and like trying to multitask. I think that's a big reason for this, which is why I want to try and fix that. So I, yeah still working on that too. Uh, and then the last thing is kind of simple, but really important. And that is I'm needing to get better at eating lunch away from my office because my office is where I work and I often go get my lunch, bring it back here and like eat while I'm multitasking. But I'd really like to eat like somewhere else, take a breather, a brain break enjoy my lunch, set aside like a specific, even a half an hour to rest and eat. But this is also something I need to be intentional about and on top of. Um, I think maybe by me mentioning this in this video, I can be self-motivated um, by like, you know, the reward of like, I told you all that I wanted to work on it. So now I have to work on it. <laughs> so feel free to remind me in the comments, like, Hey, did you work on that? Um, uh, and I'll let you know, I'll be honest too. I'll, hopefully the answer is yes, but we'll see. Uh, but all these things that I want to work on too, uh, I need to work on sooner rather than later, or I'd like to, because my time is only going to get more taken up. Next week, I'm in lab for four days out of my five, which means travel time gets added in there, in lab time. Uh, and those lab hours are all like during the daytime when I wouldn't currently been doing other tasks. So planning is going to be huge. Uh, I, I don't know, like I said, online learning, mm, I understand though. But let me know if you're an online learner right now, how it's going for you, what you've done to be successful with this now or in the past. I would love to hear about it. I would love to know any tips and tricks I can get because this is gonna be a rough semester, but I would love if we could help each other out so it's not as rough of a semester. But until next time, uh, please, subscribe to the channel. I would love to have people join, comment on this video, uh, let me know what you're thinking. And if you like this video or other videos, please give them a thumbs up. It means a lot to me to see that support from you all. So thank you so much for watching this and I'll see you next time. Bye.